Good morning, fourth graders. Today we are on page 181 of your student journal, and we are on lesson five. Today we are going to be doing something that we have been doing, talking about angles, and talking about what we started the last two lessons with degrees, but we're going to be adding some more titles or definitions to those. So our goal today is, Today I will determine whether an angle is acute, comma, right, comma, or obtuse. Okay, and our three words are acute, right, or obtuse. Okay, those are going to be words that we really need to learn, and they're just going to tie into what, with what we did yesterday and the day before. So if we look at our vocabulary today, we see the word attribute. Attribute is a characteristic, quality, feature, or trait. Okay, so, um, these words in acute is going to be an attribute of the angle. It's going to be a, a feature of the angle or a characteristic of the angle. Our next word is ray, and that's a word that we've seen before, an angle we have seen before. Down here comes our new vocabulary. This is our new vocabulary, and we need to learn these words. I'm actually gonna start in the middle for a reason. So a right angle is measures exactly 90 degrees. So the last few lessons I've been showing you that I could put a piece of paper in a right angle and it fits perfectly, or it's a perfect L. Sometimes I think of a right angle as just right. It's just perfect, okay? It's just perfect right there. So it's not too little, it's not too big, it's just right. Okay, so it measures exactly 90. Exactly is a key word. It, has, it can't be close, it has to be exactly 90 degree angles. Okay, now the one that we're gonna talk about next is called an acute, that's how I pronounce that. Acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. So it's smaller than 90. It's little. So I always think of an acute angle as acute. So if we think about little things, we always think of them as being cute. Babies are cute, puppies are cute, kitty, kittens are cute. Little things are cute. So little angles are acute angles. Okay, our other angle is called obtuse. Obtuse angles measure more than 90, but less than 180. So remember our straight line our straight line, and we'll add our points there, that is a 180 degree angle. So an obtuse has to be larger than our just right 90 degree angle, but it has to be less than 180. So an obtuse angle would be 91 degrees all the way to 179 degrees would be an obtuse angle and our acute angle would be one degree all the way to 89 degrees and then our just right is going to be just exactly 90 degrees okay so our goal today or our objective today is going to be to be able to look at an angle and decide is it just right perfectly right or is it a cute little acute angle? Or is it an obtuse, which is larger? I definitely recommend, ladies and gentlemen, using some sort of like post-it note or the corner of a paper, because this is a great way to always look at it and think, is it 90 or is it larger than 90 or is it smaller than 90? So if you wanna pause the video and see if you could find a post-it or just the corner of a piece of paper, that might be helpful. Okay, I am going to get started and do some for you. If you wanna put your pencil down. Here is my first problem. And my first problem looks like this. 
So it looks like it's a slide and they want to know this angle right here. So it looks like it's a playground slide and this is what they want to know. And my directions say, determine whether the angle formed is a right angle, acute angle, or obtuse angle. So I will be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I always turn my book because I think it's easier for me to see when I see a straight line in front of me. So if I look at this slide, what I can do is I could take my piece of paper, and I'm sorry it's white, I wish it was a different color, and I can see that this would be this perfect L, and I can even draw it. If I had a perfect L, that would be a 90 degree angle. But the angle I have is smaller than my just right angle. So if since it's smaller or cuter, it's called an acute angle. Okay, let's look at my next one. And this time, if they put it sideways, it looks like it's a laptop open, and they wanna know the angle of this one. Well, this one, if I put my paper in, so watch my paper, it's gonna be just right. It's gonna fit perfectly there in the angle. So this tells me this is a right angle. And remember, a right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so let's do some together, ladies and gentlemen. Turning your page to page 182, I see a clock and it says, determine whether the angle formed is a right angle, acute angle, or obtuse angle. So this is the angle that they want to know inside there. So again, I, I like it somehow better what works when I see a straight line in front of me. So if I was to use my piece of paper, what do I notice? I notice that this ray is larger because 90 degree would have been going up here. That would have been a 90 degree on this side, but it's larger. So because it's larger than my just right degree angle, that means that is called an obtuse angle. Obtuse. Now if we look at our next angle, they're giving us a sailboat and they want to know maybe between the sail and the line what's the angle. Again, you could turn your book if it helps you. It always helps me. I don't even know if I need my paper for this one because I could just picture an L. I could picture this perfect shaped L would have been 90 degrees and look how small this opening is compared to a 90 degree. So I know that that one's definitely going to be a small acute angle. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna turn the page today and you have page 183, 184, and 185. Have a nice afternoon, bye.